Okay, good to have you again. Now, what happens if you don't exercise? Now, even people with no risk factors stand a chance to be uh, unhealthy if they do not exercise. Now, you can take a look at yourself and say, oh, why do I really need to exercise? Why should I? I'm not too fat, I'm not too skinny, I'm just okay. Now, it is very necessary you exercise because it will keep you um, healthy, and then you would not have risk factors such as what high blood pressure, diabetes type 1, and then um, you are not going to be obese. And then your heart is going to work very well. Now, good, I guess, you have, because we're looking at exercise today. That's the topic for today. Now, exercises, what do you understand by exercise? But before we proceed into that, let's look at some of the things you've been learning today by the time we're through with this lesson. Let's look at a specific objective. Now, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to do what? Explain the meaning of exercise. You should be able to describe the different types of exercises, and then you should be able to discuss the guidelines for exercising the body, and also you should be able to explain the disadvantages of using drugs in exercise and sports. Yes, a lot of people do that, and there are a whole lot of disadvantages with that. So you're going to be knowing that firsthand. So let's move on. Now, exercises are very, very, very important. They cannot be overemphasized. They are very, very important to keep our body fit. Now, exercise involves everything we do, such as what? Running, jumping, working, dancing. Yes, dancing. I know you like that part. Swimming, playing, games, etc., etc. So anything that you do that help keeps you fit, you're possibly exercising. So whenever you're running, you're exercising. So as you're jumping, you're working, and you're dancing. I love to dance too, so I think it's one way to exercise. So and then swimming, playing games, all these are ways in which we try to keep our body fit. Now, what exactly is the meaning of what exercise? Now, exercise simply means making the body to perform some activities, making the body to do what? To perform some activities. Now, if you leave the body without any form of exercise, now some of our muscles are just going to waste up. So it is very important to help the body perform some activities now when a child is born now if you leave the child without any form of activity you no know, maybe the you know like when a child is born you have to do some massaging lifting up the baby's hand even without the baby's uh, interest because you know if you don't do that to the baby the baby would not have some flexibility so it is very important just imagine a baby is born and then there's no form of um you know massage nobody is touching anything on the baby's body you find that at this baby we're just going to stay stiff and that there's no movement whatsoever because nothing was actually moved so as we grow up if we do not involve our body in some exercises so it's just going to be uh, it's just going to stay there without being engaged. Okay, so exercise helps the body to perform various or different exercises. Now, don't forget that the human body is designed to move. It is designed to move, okay, for movement. So it needs regular exercise. Yes, your body is meant to move. You need to move your abs, you need to move your legs, you need to walk. So you need to constantly what? Put it into you so regular exercise is very very important now let's look at the importance of exercises the importance of exercises now in, it increases the flow of blood to the muscles now our muscles can actually waste if we don't make um, good use or put them to good use now when you exercise what you're trying to do to your muscles is that it increases the flow of blood so it gets to every part of the muscle to make them what keep being active and what pliable movable as whatever way you can put it so it helps the body to what the the flow of blood to the muscles it keeps the flow and increases the flow of blood to the muscles now it makes the muscle strong, firm, and healthy. Yes, when we exercise, it makes our muscle 
fat it makes our muscles strong and that it makes our muscle healthy so whenever you're exercising you're actually making your muscles strong firm and what and um healthy so exercise is very very important now another thing um about exercise being very important is that it makes the sweat glands more active so you notice that whenever you are involved or engaged in any form of exercise whether you're dancing you're running you're uh, playing games you tend to see that you sweat so as you're sweating your sweat glands are active and it's good for you so um exercise makes the sweat gland active it keeps it active so it, that time you're sweating and you're is that uh, aspiration and all of that it is very good for the um sweat glands now the other thing is that it helps the body to excrete waste yes our body is made to excrete waste just like we do that with uh when sweating so whenever you exercise you're shedding off what some excretes from what the body so exercise is very important because it helps what the body to excrete waste products from our body now now also during an exercise the lungs become more active breathing is deeper and air is you know in the lung is changed more often as you engage in exercises if you're running you're involved you know you tend to be panting and you're breathing so hard that way you're actually opening the airways of your um, of the lungs and everything is just going to go fine and then you know you're changing air in the lungs when you're exercising so that way it helps the lungs perform and um, um, it makes it keeps it healthy let's just say it keeps it healthy okay that whenever you are exercising you know you tend to put more strain and effort to it that way the lungs um, air is being changed in the lungs another thing is that um, exercise aids digestion and prevents constipation very true okay now when you exercise it will do what aid digestion you can imagine after eating and then you're just sitting down you're not doing exercise you eat every day monday through friday to saturday week in week out month in month out year in year out and you're not really exercising the body no it isn't good now it helps you to do what it aids digestion it helps our food to get digested properly and then it prevents constipation so you can poop easily okay so when you exercise it's good for your body now also some overweight persons can shed off excess weight now those people that are referred to obese okay that are obese obesity now when they are involved in carrying out some exercise for their body you tend to body tend to shed off weight um, sorry um, they lose excess weights they shed off excess weights so maybe you're on the fat side and you intend to you know to come down a bit you can actually go on an exercise you don't have to spend so much on diet and all of that yes diet is important but you can balance it up with being intentional with your exercise routine it will help you to what shed excess and shed off excess waste from the body now it stimulates appetite yes very true now you find that in the morning after jogging and doing a whole lot of exercise you tend to be hungry so by the time you are done with exercise you need food so maybe you would have lost appetite you don't feel like it why not try running why not try getting involved in an exercise it will help you want to eat food because by the time you're done exercising of course you want food so exercise is important because it stimulates our appetite now also it helps the whole body to keep fit and healthy exercise is also important because it helps the body to keep fit and healthy when you exercise you feel a little a whole lot lighter you feel a whole lot lighter you know there's sometimes you feel so heavy that's because you're not exercising when you exercise you feel relieved you know the muscles have been put to work and they are okay feeling better and then 
you stay healthy as well as an individual. Now, also exercise is important because it encourages what sound sleep and growth. When you exercise, you know, after straining the muscles, the muscles would of course need rest. So you would have sound sleep and of course growth will take place. Now, it, um, that's to say, when you involve in exercise, after all the straining, you know, you're putting yourself to work. If you've been finding it very hard to sleep, why not try some exercise? After doing that, I'm sure your body will beg you to sleep. You will just go to sleep and then you will feel very okay. Also, it is very important to exercise because it helps what reduce the risk of heart disease. Very important. When we don't exercise, we are at risk of what heart disease, okay? Because exercise helps reduce the cholesterol level. It helps reduce the cholesterol level in our body. So when you exercise, the cholesterol level is low, which can trigger heart failure, which can trigger heart disease. So exercise keeps it on the low so when you exercise you have you 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 are not on the risk um lay or even those persons with no risk factor it is very important that you exercise so you are not prone to heart diseases such as high blood pressure heart failure and all of that also Exercise is very important because it refreshes the brain, okay? Because when you exercise, there's blood circulation, increased blood circulation. You know, the body is working hard and everything is just going as it is planned. So it is very important that you exercise so as to feel refreshed and to refresh your brain. The brain needs to be refreshed. So exercise is very important for blood circulation as well. Now, we want to look at the different types of exercises that we have. So, the first one we have here is strengthening exercises. Now, strengthening exercise, we have different categories of what exercises. Now, this category of exercise includes weightlifting, push-ups, and sit-ups. This helps to do what? To build strong muscles, okay? Now, for... Um, strong muscles you need to be involved with uh, maybe weightlifting push-ups and sit up it helps to do what to build strong muscles I know most of you like um, to have uh, strong muscles so if you need to um, have strong muscles you need to be involved maybe in weightlifting you can start small you know you need to start small don't try carrying something too heavy you can start small as you progress you know you can uh, increase whatever um, whatever um, how do I put it what do they call it what are they say you know this uh, the weight lifting power whatever you carry so you can just go gradually onto your master and then you can carry the heavier ones and also you can do push-ups and um, sit-ups these are strengthening exercise that build strong muscles Okay, we also have aerobics exercise, aerobics exercise. Now, these exercises improve the efficiency of your heart and lungs. They improve the efficiency of your heart and lungs. Now, it increases the intake of oxygen to the body. Aerobics increases the intake of oxygen to your body. Now, examples of aerobic exercises are working, running, um, cycling, and what's swimming. All these are referred to as what aerobic exercises. Now, don't forget, it helps to increase the intake of oxygen to the body. So whenever you're running, you're working, you're involved in an aerobic exercise, which is good for your heart and your oxygen intake. Okay, so the next one we have here is stretching exercise stretching exercise now this helps to promote flex, uh, flexibility stretching exercise helps to promote flexibility now you see uh, some persons are naturally flexible 
okay you know some persons that dance ballet you see them so flexible some are naturally flexible but some through exercise have been able to achieve that okay they've been able to achieve that so you too can to actually get flexible by involving in what stretching exercises okay very very important now now it is targeted at what specific muscle groups such as the arms legs abdomen just like i said for those persons that dance ballet okay now this can what help you now for those persons maybe you don't like um maybe your belly is big and you want your abdomen to come down you can actually do this constantly to help what um some of these muscle groups to be aligned okay your abs maybe your abs are so large and big and you want to work on them you can actually involve in stretching what exercise same thing for the abdomen so that's your stretching exercise the next one we're looking at is guidelines for exercising the body what should you do to exercise the body now understand very well that sometimes exercise can be very tiring it is demanding you have to be intentional about it so if you want to actually see that you pull through in exercising you have to build your exercise routine around things you enjoy maybe yours is dancing maybe yours is swimming you like to swim or maybe it's just walking um running so you need to build your exercise routine around activities you enjoy so every time you think about dancing you just want to exercise yourself so you have to build your routine so that way you don't it doesn't get boring okay because if you don't find time or if you don't make it um or if you don't put it around something you enjoy it's going to be tiring and it's going to be boring it will seem as if you're mounting pressure on yourself but if you find it in things you would love to do of course you, if they say exercise it will be something pleasing if it's a sport you love to play let your routine be involved around it okay it will be anything just find something you love doing and work towards it even running house chores and work washing doing that can be a routine for your exercise so just find something you love and just keep at it and just go on with it now exercise regularly okay here we go i'm guilty about um, this okay now you find that there are most times if you've not exercised in a long time and you want to start exercising something happens now for me that's my experience i think it applies to is applicable to some other persons as well now if i've not exercised in a long time Let's say dancing sometimes too, and I dance or I involve in an exercise. I find that all of my body, I feel pains. I feel pains, and that's because it is not regular. But if you find that, that you do this for um, a week, month, your body adjusts to your routine. So if you exercise regularly, your body is going to adjust to it. You're not going to be feeling pain. I see a lot of people say, oh, just this one that I did today, all oh, my body, don't stop. That's because you've not been doing it for a long time. That's why you're feeling all that pain you're feeling. But if you keep at it, let's say you continue the next day and you do it three days, one week, one month, it will seem your body will just adjust to it. That's how the human body is. It's because you've not been exercising regularly. That's why you feel pain. So don't stop when you feel those pains. They're only normal because you've not been exercising regularly. Now, the next one you should do is that exercise 20 to 30 minutes a day. That's a routine. Do it every day. Okay, don't say, okay, today I'm so tired. I won't do it. Just at least if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, as you have time to you should exercise daily daily okay now exercise daily at least three to five times a week every day every day maybe it could be as you're waking up you could just do some of the stretching aerobics you can just do something but make sure you are exercising daily don't just go through the day without any form of exercise Yes, even as you're waking up, as mommy's waking you up to go to school, as you're standing up, you can do, you can stretch, you know, bend down, come up, turn around, do, just do something, okay? Now it'll help keep your muscle 
fit and healthy, just like we said. Now, there's something people do that should not be encouraged at all. It should be highly discouraged. Using drugs in exercise and sports. This is not acceptable and it is highly prohibited. It is not to be done at all. Now, drugs refer to many different kinds of substances from medicines to illegal, marijuana, crack, heroin, and alcohol, tobacco, cola nuts, all of that. Now, all of these are words referred to as illegal. When you take these substances to aid your performance, when you need to exercise, then it is not, not, not good. Now, this should be discouraged. Now, a lot of people um, do this for those persons that are, that are thinking of um, actually building a career in, in the sporting area now. You can actually build muscles naturally without reusing any form of drugs, any form of substance to actually help that. Now, it is not good. Say no to drugs for whatever reasons. Whatever the, you, you, you take that stimulates or helps you uh, um, become more hyperactive should be discouraged, okay? Most of these drugs are, okay, it makes me high, um, active. It helps me stay active. No, no, no. It should not be encouraged at all when it comes to exercise. Now, there are a whole lot of disadvantages of using drugs in exercise and sports. There are a whole lot of disadvantages when you use drugs. Now, the first thing that can happen is that it can lead to physical breakdown. When one uses drugs for exercise, obviously the person is going to break down. It will lead to physical breakdown. Fainting, the person could pass out because you never can tell. Now it can cause emotional and mental disorder. Now you're helping your body do some things that are beyond what the body would naturally uh, naturally do when you aid your body with substances as using um, illegal drugs that are not prescribed by doctors. Now, um, drugs that are not prescribed by doctors whatsoever, and then you're just forcing them on your system to aid uh, performance or to help you stay active is illegal. Now, this can cause emotional and mental breakdown. It could let the person you know you you feel these things from whatever is happening around you now it can lead to antisocial behaviors now we're social humans so when you take drugs it makes you not um, relate normally with people you tend to be violent because you know now let's let's see let's take for instance well i'm not a football fan i like volleyball and um, i love volleyball but i'm not a um, soccer fat now i see most persons if you are most of these games are supposed to be played in a friendly way now if someone is under the influence of um, drugs you can actually be antisocial even when these games are meant to be friendly you see someone playing and you're pushing this other person violently which is not necessary these are what all anti-social behaviors to make people act in the abnormal now also the disadvantage of drugs is that drug users can develop severe health problems now i've seen people use steroids to aid um, their body build and all of that and some of them are not turned out well some of them are not turned out well even for some of them that turned out well in the long run they developed some um, health issues so it is not advisable to actually be involved using any of these substances to aid the performance of what your um, sporting activities whatsoever no steroids nothing you can actually develop what your self naturally by doing what exercising on your own without using any form of substance 
Now, what are the guidelines for preventing drug addiction? How can you prevent drug addiction? Now, there's one thing with drugs. When you are introduced to it, there's always a craving. You always want more. You always want more. I've never been there, but I hear people say it and I read about it. So, you don't have to go that way. Because those persons that are already into drugs, it's very hard for them to do what to come out of it because they will always want more and more of it. Now, one of the ways to prevent drug addiction is to take only drugs that are prescribed by a doctor. If the doctor says, this drug is good for you, it can help you do this, or you need to take this, then fine, you can run with that. But any other prescription that is not from your doctor should be discarded. So only prescriptions from your doctors, then you can run with that. Now follow the pharmacies slash doctors direction for the use of any drugs. Just like we said earlier, for any drugs before you need to use them, the doctors must ascertain they are good for your health and they are good to go and a okay. Now also choose friends who have also decided to remain drug free. If you have friends that are already into drugs, you need to stay away from them because if you get into it, you're going to be addicted to it. And also, choose friends who have decided to do what? Stay off drug. So they don't go the part of using drugs and drag you into using drugs yourself. Now, avoid people who want to, want to see or give you drugs. Avoid them. Okay, if you have anybody around you talking about, oh, how good these drugs you can be. Maybe not just for exercise, randomly, anything that has to do with drugs that are not prescribed by the doctor. Anybody that comes to you to say, okay, you need to take this drug to be very active, to do, to be very sporty. No, no, no. Avoid such persons. Now, always say no to anybody who tempts you with drugs. Say no to drugs. So, Always put that at the back of your mind and say, okay, no to drugs for whatsoever reason. Do not accept it. Do not welcome it. Do not stay around people that are already into drugs. Because if you can't bite your instincts, you would actually want to indulge. Because they do paint this uh, thing for those persons that are already addicted. Like it is something you would want to try. Please do not delve or fall into the trap okay yes you can stop drug craving with exercise very very true so in order not to take drugs you can actually want to do what be involved in more exercise so that you can be more healthy so maybe you like six packs and then you like big big muscle and you see these people with big muscle you too can achieve that by what being dedicated putting up your zeal to work and then you're going to see that happen so you do not have to take any form of drugs you don't have to be involved in any shading deals to to actually look healthy okay so yes you can actually exercise and achieve your desired body same thing goes for my the female folks as well so you want to achieve this dream body you don't have to start taking drugs or do some things with exercise you can actually achieve that a whole lot of exercises to help um, growth for different parts of our bodies same for the muscles so you can actually exercise to achieve all of that and don't do drugs so say no to drugs and stop drug craving with what exercise beautiful now let's take us some questions let's practice some questions from the exam guide app using the exam guide app okay okay let's look at this question drug abuse is described as the use of legal drugs a for curative purpose b for purpose designed by manufacturers C, for the control of mental disorders. D, for illegal, illegally to stimulate the nerves. E, in dosage as prescribed 
by doctors. Now, drug abuse is described as the use of legal drugs to do what? To illegally what? Stimulate the nerves. That is what drug abuse is because it's not prescribed by a doctor. It's not for curative purposes. It's not for, it's not designed by manufacturers for you to just take. Now, drug abuse is um, described as the use of legal drugs illegally to stimulate the nerves. Let's look at the next question. Okay, let's look at this question. An effect of drug abuse on a person is that it, A, it boosts memory retention, B, cures diseases, C, damages the lungs, D, detoxifies the body, E, promotes the body immunity. Now, an effect of drug abuse on a person is that, does it boost the memory retention? No. Does it cure diseases? No. What does it do? C, damages the lungs? Of course, yes. Because it does not detoxify the body, it does not promote the body's immunity. So the effect of drug abuse on a person is that it damages the lungs because you are choking yourself, over choking your system with drugs that are not prescribed by a doctor, which can be very, very harmful to our lungs. Let's move on. Now, which of the following statements defines the term drug abuse? Now, which of the following statements um, best defines the term drug abuse? It is D, A, the effect of drug on the persons taking it, B, the illegal use of drugs, C, legal use of drugs to cure an ailment, D, use of drugs under prescription, E, use of drugs with parents' consent. Now, which of these can describe the term drug abuse? Of course, it is the illegal use of drugs, as B. Drug abuse is the illegal use of drugs because nobody has what prescribed these drugs for you. So you're using them illegally without a doctor's prescription. Okay, let's proceed. Now, the effect of drug abuse includes the following except. A, we have the central nervous system stimulation. B, damaged lungs and heart. C, increased pulse rate and blood pressure. D, mental disorder. E, proper functioning of the brain. Now, the effect of drug abuse includes the following except. Now, drug abuse causes the central nervous system to... Um, does it cause the central nervous system to actually stimulate properly? Of course, it stimulates it to act in an abnormal way. It damages the lungs and heart. Of course, it increases the pulse rate and blood pressure through. It causes what? Mental disorder. Now, the effect of drug abuse does not cause the brain to function properly. So, Proper functioning of the brain is the correct answer. Drug abuse does not do that. So proper functioning of the brain is the correct answer to that question. Thank you for participating in today's class. You can practice more questions using the exam guide app. Now the app scores and gives a detailed explanation of all the questions at the end of your practice test. You can learn a particular topic of interest with different modes like the study mode, mock mode, and practice mode. It also has all the features that make learning fun. It is a most have for every serious student. I know you are that serious student. Now you can download the app from www.examguide.com. If you don't have it yet, please do. Now see you in our next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and share the videos to your friends, your family. I'm sure they'll benefit from it as well. Bye for now. Thank you.